As water depletion in the American Southwest grows more and more acute, and the U.S. national food supply is in fact only supported by huge imports in virtual water in the form of everything except basic grains, the only solution lies in the construction of Nawapa 21. The southwestern states receive scarce rainfall, and the resulting runoff produces only three major river systems, the Colorado, the Rio Grande, and the San Joaquin Sacramento. Soon after the storage and management installations on these three major river systems were completed in the 20th century, the entire flow, no matter how well regulated, was still insufficient to meet economic need. Today, the reservoir content is dropping. At the same time, groundwater depletion in the region, which began decades ago, is now acute. Nawapa 21 will solve this crisis through the utilization of 11% of the fresh water runoff from Alaska, Yukon, and British Columbia, of which 52 million acre feet will be delivered annually to the United States Southwest as a permanent source of water to end shortages and potentially double food production by increasing the acreage of irrigable farmland. The four American Southwest water basins intersected by Nawapa are the following the Colorado River Basin, the California Water Resources Region, the Rio Grande Water Resources Region, and the Great Basin. Western Canada and Northern Mexico are also benefactors of Nawapa 21, as well as the North American Great Plains and the Dakotas, via additional water control and delivery extensions to the original Nawapa design. However, for the purpose of this video, we will focus on the American Southwest basins affected by Nawapa. The Colorado River Basin average runoff, from its headwaters to its salty delta, is far below what is required, and it is long since oversubscribed and overallocated. Of the basin's annual 11 million acre feet flow, the 1922 Colorado River Compact had set water sharing between the upper and lower Colorado basin regions at 7.5 million acre feet each per year, totaling to 15 million acre feet. The fact that the total allocation of 15 million acre feet per year exceeded the mean annual average flow by 4 million acre feet did not matter in the early decades, as the use in the upper basin was far less than the lower. However, long before the year 2000, the upper basin came to require its full allocation and now seeks more, while the states of the lower basin have been severely short of water for decades, utilizing some 1.3 million acre feet a year more than their allocated 7.5 million acre feet under the 1922 compact. As a consequence, significant amounts of farmland in Arizona have been abandoned for lack of sufficient reliable water, and an increasing reliance on groundwater has become unsustainable. As of 1998, the lower basin states of California and Arizona were respectively 45% and 60% dependent on groundwater for domestic needs. As of 1995, 103% of the total renewable supply in the region was being used, a percentage which is far greater today. Throughout Arizona, aquifers are depleting, where some wells in the Tucson area have fallen more than 200 feet over the past 50 years. Land surface subsidence is occurring in many areas, as in West Phoenix, where some places have dropped 18 feet. Adding 174 million acre feet of reservoir storage to the existing 61 million acre feet Colorado Basin storage capacity, Nawapa 21 would bring a continual supply of 18 million acre feet of water per year to the lower Colorado Basin increasing the existing insufficient 6.1 million acre feet annual renewable water supply by 300 percent. 
the newly delivered water will be sufficient to irrigate up to 2.11 million acres of additional farmland. Measured by volume and water runoff, the California Water Resources Region is the largest of the three southwestern river systems, consisting of the Sacramento River, which provides a mean annual flow of 17 million acre-feet, the San Joaquin River, with a mean flow of 3.4 million acre-feet, along with other surface runoff. Beginning, of beginning in 1957, the combined volume of these rivers were successfully organized in most of the state of California according to the designs of the California Water Plan. The Roosevelt Era Central Valley Project and the State Water Project Aqueducts, both world models of water infrastructure in their time, were built to have a combined reservoir capacity of 26 million acre-feet. However, as the post-war hydrologists foresaw, without water augmentation, the state's surface and groundwater resources would become insufficient. For several decades now, there has been a severe water shortage, resulting in aquifer depletion, water trade-offs, salinization, land subsidence, and farmland loss. Already by the 1990s, of the 50 major aquifers throughout the state, 11 were in serious overdraft. In the San Joaquin Valley, large areas have subsided due to overdraft pumping. For example, a drop of 29 feet was sustained at a location in southwest Mendota. Meanwhile, the irrigated areas are contracting for lack of sufficient water, putting 9 million acres of farmland at stake. It is estimated then the WAPA 21 would bring an additional supply of 10 million acre feet per year of water to Southern California, increasing the existing annual renewable water supply of the whole state, currently at 83.6 million acre feet, by 12 percent, and irrigating up to 4 million acres of farmland. Additionally, an extension to the original Nawapa design, the California Oregon Extension, designed by American economic consultant Hal Cooper and included in the Nawapa 21 report, could deliver an additional roughly equal amount for the Sacramento and San Joaquin Valleys, supplementing the Lake Shasta and Owens Valley supply systems, irrigating another 3 million acres of farmland. The Rio Grande Water Resources Region is a tightly integrated system of surface runoff in direct hydraulic connection to basin aquifers, all of which are used up. The average river flow is only 0.7 million acre-feet per year. The river storage capacity is 20 million acre-feet, but far more water has long been needed and treaty commitments for water sharing between the United States and Mexico have been impossible to honor. 90% of New Mexico's population is dependent on groundwater for drinking, while in Texas, groundwater dependency is 45%. Meanwhile, besides agricultural use, river water is channeled off for industrial, residential, and other purposes by both the United States and Mexico, which means that the water is not recharging the aquifers underlying the river. As of 1984, the annual renewable water supply in the Rio Grande Basin was 6.1 million acre-feet. Calculations done by the authors of Nawapa 21 found that water use, as of 2005, was 113% of this 1984 amount. At stake are 1.1 million acres of irrigated farmland on the U.S. side of the river, as well as the Mexico side. Nawapa 21 would add 34.8 million acre-feet to the current 20 million acre-feet storage capacity, 
and bring an additional supply of 16 million acre feet per year of water to the Rio Grande Basin. Increasing the current 6.1 million acre feet annual water supply by 262 percent, providing enough water to irrigate up to 10 million acres, a whopping 1,000 percent increase of farmland in Texas and New Mexico. Unlike the other western water resources regions, the Great Basin has no single prominent river system. It is a closed basin characterized by streams with no outlet to the ocean, which form many lakes, such as the Great Salt Lake, Mauna Lake, and Pyramid Lake. Rainfall and runoff variability, as well as inadequate volume, are all limiting factors for economic activity for this region. Although potentially rich, Especially for fodder crops, agriculture has been very limited in this area. Water rights given out for agriculture use long ago exceeded the supplies. In the 1990s, markets set up for sale water rights, transferring water use out of farming and into supplying urban areas. In Nevada, irrigated farmland has dropped by half, from 1.3 million acres in 1972 to 0.685 million in 2000, while farmland in Utah fell from 1.4 million acres to 1.1. Annual renewable water supply in the Great Basin is 11.2 million acre feet, according to 1984 records. With Nawapa 21, 14.47 million acre feet of reservoir storage will be built and 6 million acre feet per year of water will be added to the basin, increasing the renewable supply by 55%. With four of the 6 million acre feet diverted to Nevada and the remaining two for Utah, we can potentially increase the irrigated farm area of Nevada and Utah by 1.37 million acres and 0.54 million acres respectively. A total of 32 reservoirs will be built throughout the American Southwest, creating a total of 233 million acre feet of new storage capacity. And here is a state-by-state -state breakdown of the annual 52 million acre feet distributed by Nawapa 21 to the region. If the new water is divided by the current ratio of industrial to agricultural use, a projected 9.76 million acres, or a 45% increase of farmland, will be added to the southwest. If the newly added water is to go entirely to agriculture, irrigated farmland would nearly double. Moreover, the permanent water deliveries through the system will have an effect far beyond that mentioned above, as the added surface water will re-evaporate multiple times and change local climates. Therefore, in addition to the impact of water applied for direct use and irrigation, through Nawapa 21, we will be shaping the biosphere. The detailed plans for the construction of Nawapa 21 along with the details of how NAWAPA will restore the public credit of the United States, are contained in the recently published LaRouche Pack Special Report, NAWAPA 21. The report is available in PDF form online at larouchepack.com slash NAWAPA 21. And physical copies of the report are available from LaRouche Pack for the suggested contribution of $100. Call one 800 929-7566 to order.